we're going to uh, do a couple short routines today because my program uh, kind of zaps out before 15 minutes. I'm going to keep them all to 12, 13 minutes. Um, I hope tonight I'll be able to do core, hips, and shoulders, uh, beginning to wake up the upper body. And so we'll see how it goes while watching the sun set behind me. Uh, some of the tools you might need, um, because I assume that not everybody has a block, um, you could just use a ball for anything that we're doing here. And in fact, it's helpful in some ways to have the ball shape. Um, I am using my regular strap, and those of you who take my class, you know I like the long ones, I like it folded in half. But you can use a sock, um, a washcloth that's going from corner to corner so you get a little more stretch and it goes longer to reach for some places, You're getting behind you if you need to have um, that stretch. So or you can use a belt obviously or a scarf. Um, so these are the only props I'm suggesting that you have for these basic practices and I'm going to set them aside for now. Okay, so coming to the mat, sitting up tall, hands at the heart. You want to feel your shoulders stacked over the hips, letting your knees relax. The neck nice and long, aligned with the shoulders. Pull the shoulders out of the ears and the neck nice and long so the chin is a little bit tucked into the throat and you can bring your hands onto the knees making the mudra pressing the thumb and forefinger together fanning out the other three fingers gently tucking in the navel toward the spine beginning to come to the breath and i'm going to assume you've already done the previous video with working to the with the breath and you're able to move on okay Lifting your arms, stretching up tall, lifting up out of the hips, opening up through the armpits, hollowing out the armpits as they say, opening the arms wide, interlocking the fingers and the heels of the hands behind you, pressing the thumb knuckles down, opening up through the shoulders, stretching the throat, exhale, coming forward, opening the heels of the hands. And if you're a little bit warmed up or you're more stretchy, as I showed in the other video, you can do a little bit of rocking um, within kind of cradling your upper body in your own lap. Getting a little more stretch, stretching the throat, leading with the chin. Inhale, coming up nice and tall, stretching up. Walking the right fingers out and staying on the fingertips, raising the left hand, looking at it, getting the stretch setting the palm down, looking up at your hand, opening up through the heart. Don't let this happen. You're opening up through the heart. You want to feel it from the knee, through the hip, through your side seam, and up all the way to the fingers. Inhale, lifting up tall, stretching out, walking out the left fingers. You're on the fingertips, opening up, looking up at your hand, setting the palm down, Stretching through the side. Don't let that knee come up. Getting a nice stretch from the knee up to the hand. Stretching up tall. Really lifting up. You want to feel your upper back involved. Coming down on your forearm. Coming a little deeper into the stretch. Keep that knee pressing down. And you can gently wave. If you come forward past the knees, you're going to feel it more in the lower back. Coming up this way, you're going to feel it more in the front of the hip. Inhale, lifting up tall, stretching up, coming onto the left forearm, breathing into, again, don't let this hunching happen. Lifting, opening the heart. And then you can do this gentle wave motion. Really observing what's happening with the body. You don't want to pull your lower back there. Stretching up tall, bringing the right hand to the left knee, 
and pressing the palm behind you, nice and flat by the side like a second spine, tucking in the belly, turning your shoulders to face toward the, um, if it's your right hand, it's the left side, and then looking over your left shoulder. Use your exhale, the eyes are the last thing to turn, coming back around, lifting up tall, coming the other way. Tucking in the belly, turning the shoulders to face toward the opposite side, and then looking over the shoulder. Don't let that knee come up. Inhale. Coming up. Now, turning to face the knee, coming down. And you're going to be, people are going to be in different places with their flexibility here. You might be here, you might be here. Wherever you are, it's all good. So breathing into it. Letting your, if your head comes down all the way, that's good. Relax the shoulders. If you can use a block or anything to let the head relax, that's not a bad idea. And if you can go a little further, not everybody can, you can take your hand on the knee and then bring the shoulder down so you're really kind of less resting your torso on the thigh. It's a big stretch in the opposite hip, looking over past the hip. In, so it's also a twist. Inhale, lifting up tall. And then coming down on the other thigh. Your sides might be different. Listen to your body. No judgment. Everyone's in a different place. And then if you want to take the twist, if you have that, going for it. Inhale, untwisting, lifting up. Okay, let's go ahead and get the strap and if you have a long one folding it in half raising it up opening your arms wide so really opening up through the heart stretching up and you want to not favor one side or the other and try to have the um, arms as straight as possible so they're not you know one elbow isn't bending too much um, but don't lock the elbow just like you don't want to lock the knees and other other things we're doing so trying to have it as even as possible inhale coming down onto the left side so you're looking up at your right hand and coming up i have a feeling i'm messing up the left and the right so just make sure that you're consistent as long as you get both sides inhale coming up stretching through this should feel really good this is one of those it can be a hurt so good thing. And then your arms might have got, your hands might have got a little too wide there. So opening it back up again. And now bringing the elbows down to your back waist. Stretching back up. It's kind of like using the lat pull down machine. Getting that stretch. Mobilizing those scapula blades. You can do this as much as you want. We're just doing it quickly. All right, and then um, using like you're using the loofah in the shower, going between those shoulder blades on the upper back. Again, it should feel good for some, you know. But a lot of us are very tight there, so it also can be kind of excruciating. Okay, so. Um, we're just going to start with the, um, the hands down by the knees. Inhale, lifting up. It's right, this is the sticky area for a lot of people as you go back behind. Coming back around. Lifting back up. Observing anywhere there's resistance. Working with it. It's all good. It's just your body listening to it. And we're, of course, most of us are pretty tense right now for all kinds of reasons. We're not getting as much exercise as usual. Just keeping it open like this is actually a nice thing too. Opening the heart. Um, so be kind with yourself. Okay, so now we're going to open the heart pretty wide. Um, really opening up through those pecs. You want to really feel the stretch in the armpits and across the chest. Lifting the throat. Exhale, coming forward. Keep that stretch across the upper back. Don't let the hands come down. 
stretching the throat. Inhale, lifting up. And now that you know what's happening, we're going to do it one more time. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, coming up. Good. And we'll go ahead and set the strap aside. Um, there are some more things that we could do. Cow face, arms, you're good. I think that's going to be a little complicated to explain this kind of video because I have to turn around and stuff. But you, I encourage you to look at Google, look up cow face arms and get that stretch across the arms. Uh, maybe I'll have time in another video to do that. But let's go ahead, open the arms wide and let's just bring the fingertips down on either side. And we're just going to come up making a snow angel. Just stretching through those scapula blades, moving the shoulders in this kind of even plane, nice and round. One more time, lifting up, and then stretch from side to side. Let's go ahead and grab a wrist, grab the other side, kind of like the top part of um, a crescent, a standing crescent stretch. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and do eagle arms. Bring the right arm out, so you want to have the elbow right at chest height, and the upper arm is parallel to the mat and the forearm is right in front of the face and it's at a 90 degree angle. Hooking the other arm on top so that the arms are wrapped around each other and they're right in the center, keeping those shoulders coming straight out from, straight out from the shoulders to the elbows and the hands are pressing together. If your hands don't press together, then just grab a wrist. You know, do the best that you can. Inhale, lifting up. See with your, your fierce eagle gaze at your thumbs exhale bringing the upper the upper arms down and stretching the hands down as much as you can don't let the shoulders roll don't let the belly sink coming back up lifting up tall exhale coming back to shoulder height bringing the arms down coming back up we're going to go to the left side back to center over to the right Back to center, to the left, center, right, center, and stretch it out. That's a big stretch. Okay, because the right arm was in front the first time, we're bringing the left arm out. And one side might be more flexible than the other. The other arm crosses on top. This is one of those twisty poses. Straightening out those shoulders and the upper back. You don't want to have any hunching. Pulling navel towards spine. Inhale, lifting up with your fierce eagle gaze, bringing the upper arms down by your chest, stretching those hands down as much as you can. Inhale, coming up, looking up with your fierce eagle gaze. Exhale, bringing the elbows down to shoulder height, stretching the arms down. Coming back up. This time we're gonna turn to the right side first. You don't go that far. Don't let the opposite knee come up. Back to center, over to the other side. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and shake it out. All right, we don't have a lot more time. I'm trying to think of something really quickly that we can do. Um, Let's again do another shoulder rinse, bringing the hands behind you, really opening up the heart. And exhale, coming forward. Maybe you come a little deeper this time. Bring those hands overhead. Trying to go as far as you can. Keep your sits bones on the mat. Don't let them come up. Exhale. Coming back up, like making the snow angel. Coming up, stretching from side to side, arms out to the side, thumb knuckles at the sternum, and that concludes this section. We're going to move on to hips next.